Hey guys, James here today and welcome back to Let's Build a Big Brother House Part 3. Now, so taking on suggestions from last time, as I always do, make sure you comment down below uh, with your suggestions and make sure you thumb up the suggestions you agree with the most because that's how I determine sort of what we do next and where we go from and I always, I always go through the comments. So I've got a bunch of them up here. Um, so, I mean, the highest rate of comment was I should do a Let's Play. We'll talk about that in the future when the house is done, so I'll go, go past that. Uh, the second highest rate of comment is also about doing a Let's Play. Again, I'll go past that. We're building it at the moment. Um, all right, so then this is a suggestion that came up a few times. It was that uh, people were like, oh, why is the kitchen over the other side? Like, that's a bit weird. Uh, but it's not, because like I mentioned in part one and part two, this house is based off the Australian Big Brother. And in the Australian Big Brother, they always had the kitchen across the other side of the courtyard. It was never joined to the main house. That's just how the, the floor plan always was. Uh, it was always across the courtyard and there was a pool in the middle. Um, it's because when they do the Australian Big Brother, it's, it's usually... What time of year do they do it? They normally do it around, I think, late, either, I think it's around sort of late winter and then throughout spring, or maybe it's all throughout spring. Actually, it was probably a springtime show. So, and especially where the house is based in Australia, it was in uh, Queensland around sort of uh, the Gold Coast area. So during springtime, it's it's pretty warm. Um, so it's going to be at least, you know, 20 plus, 20 plus degrees Celsius every day at least. And it doesn't rain often if at all. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're, obviously it will rain, but um, but yeah, no, anyway, so that's just how it is. So that that's why I'm doing that. And that's why I'm not going to change that sort of aspect of it. Because like I said before, this is based off the Australian version and not ones that I haven't seen before. So that's where that's going to go. Uh, the other suggestion, and I, I did actually mention this in the last part, uh, I kept saying, it, I kept calling it the captain's quarters. Uh, but what I found out is a lot of you guys know the captain's quarters as the head of the household room, uh, which is apparently what it's called in uh, the US and maybe the UK as well. Uh, that is the, the captain's quarters, or they called it something else. They had a few different names here in Australia. It's the same idea. Uh, and I did mention that, that we need to do that. And that will probably go... I think we're going to have to do it upstairs. Ideally, I would have loved to put it over here and extend the house that way. We don't have enough room to do that. Although... With The Sims 4 get together, there is actually a 64 by 64 lot. So we would get an additional 14 squares around the side. So we may be able to use that. Uh, I don't know. We'll see when it comes out. It's coming out in like a week or something. So uh, what day is it now? I'm recording this on the 4th, Friday the 4th. And uh, the game comes out, yeah, so less than a week the game comes out, actually. So maybe we'll see then in the next couple of parts. We might might put it on the 64 a lot. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how we go. Um, yeah, so that's probably going to have to go upstairs just because I want I want the, the sort of... I'm, I'm going to keep calling captain's, captain's Quarters because that's what I know it as. Or the Sanctuary. Actually, that was the other name, Sanctuary. Um, that's what I know it as, so it's just easier for me to call it that. Uh, it's probably going to have to go upstairs. Because I wanted to have a courtyard as well. There's no room to do a courtyard on the lower floor. Like, we have room back here. That could be enough for a bedroom, maybe. But I don't think that's enough room for also fitting in an outdoor space. Because I usually have, like, a hot tub and all that kind of stuff. Um, we do have that room over there. We could shuffle the kitchen around, maybe. Because this area here... Like, this whole area here is a bit... You know what? Why don't we redesign this area? Actually, let's see if we can fit it in over here. Because this area was always kind of... It was fairly shoehorned in there. It didn't really fit particularly well. So let's see if we can um, adjust this a little bit. You know what? It'd probably be easier to scrap the sledgehammer tool and do this. There we go. Uh, let's get rid of that. There we go. So now... Oop! Did not mean to do that. Now, is that... Yeah, so this is not a room anymore. Good, I was making sure it wasn't. That's still the roof. We'll, we'll adjust the roof as need be. So, uh, okay, if we're going to have the kitchen... Actually, you know what? Let's figure out where the pool is going to go because that's going to take up a fair amount of space as well. Uh, so they're going to come out. We need, actually, the gym. Oh, you know, we, let's figure out the courtyard. <laughs> I was like, okay, let's figure out the new kitchen area. Oh, wait, we got to do the pool. Oh, wait, we got to do the, the, the gym. Uh, the gym. I'm just going to do flooring. It's just whatever flooring for the sake of flooring. Um... That's good. So that all will be covered in there. Should we have it? I guess we should have it going across. Uh, whoop. Where does the uh, the diagonal start there? So maybe if we cut it there. Uh, okay, well, I <laughs> didn't want it to do that. Really? I can't just... Uh, well, how, now I've got no time. How do I just... Okay, game. Can we... Can you cooperate here with me? No. I only... Alright, well... <laughs> We're doing it this way, apparently. Uh, we'll just have to redo these these parts. Stupid game. There we go. Uh, it's always... They weirdly changed... Oh, no, I've messed that bit up. 
that's not gonna work. They really change the way the floor tiles work on the ground, and it, it really weirds me out every time. Ah, oh, whoops. Uh, there we go. If you're wondering, people always ask how you do like triangle floor tiles. If you're wondering how to do that, you press Control F, and it toggles between a full tile and a little uh, quarter triangle like that. So you can actually do some interesting sort of floor tile mixing with it. Which you wouldn't normally be able to do, or at least you would be able to do it, but you'd have to use like a wall normally. Uh, but yeah, that's a cool little thing you can do. Uh, in case you're wondering. Control F. What is that? Oh, that's a hole in the floor I've somehow created. That is legitimately a hole in the floor, because that's looking through into the, to the... How did I do that? <laughs> how did... Hang on. No. Oh, if I remove... Putting this tile... Hmm. I seem to have discovered a bug. Let's see. Let's see if this is actually, is it only with like, if I, oops, if I use like quarter tiles, like if I do that and then remove it, hang on, no, it's just that one. Oh, that one goes, that one's gone. I oh, know something with, yeah, this is weird. Something with uh, quarter tiles is going on. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, maybe it's if I use the same tile. No, it's not if I use the same tile. I'm just trying to figure out what's causing this. Uh, I will be linking this to some sim gurus because it, how did I do that? It's not doing it again. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, that's how you do <laughs> little uh, triangle floor tiles. Uh, <laughs> discovered a bug as well where you can create a hole in the floor. So that's interesting. So this is where the gym is going to go. Let's get out some equipment and, and figure out sort of what, if that's a big enough size or if it's too big or if it's too small or whatever. We'll find out and then we'll go from there. So in the gym, we're going to want everything from treadmills to weight machines. Uh, we'll just put them here for now. We'll probably move these around. Let's get out some nice machines. Something like that. Maybe a boxing bag. Yeah, this is this is plenty of space. We got we got enough room for all of the stuff. Um, yeah, that that's going to be plenty of room there. And then we can, we'll have some seating here as well, so they can sit out, sit down, and hang out, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'll probably do a barbecue over here as well somewhere. I don't know, but that should be fine for the um, little gym area. So that will work quite well. It's undercover as well, so they can still work out while it's raining. No worries. Now the pool uh, is gonna. Have, we need we need enough grass space as well, so they can get plenty of exercise. Because uh, you wouldn't want to be like you wouldn't want to have not any grass space. You want you want somewhere where you can uh, exercise. So there's the TV. You know what? Let's figure out. Let's um before we do the pool. Let's also figure out this area. So if this is where they're going to be sitting down for announcements or something. Uh, so that is a six a six seater three seater. So if we get maybe. Like that, we could go like this, and then it could go. Oops, I meant to actually clone that. Uh, let me go move objects on, uh, like so. Go away. There we go. Right. So then this is going to go. Let me turn the grid on so I can see. It needs to go on that tile there somewhere. Maybe about there, and then we can get another one going this way. So that will give us nine seats. Which is plenty of seats, so they can all sit down there, gather around the TV and watch the announcements. So that's where they can sit in that area. Uh, then we can also, uh, if there was a circular coffee table, that would be perfect. However, I do not think a circular table exists, which is a bit of a shame. Let's see, in miscellaneous as well. There are like these, but <laughs> not exactly a coffee table. Oh, there is this. But it's definitely too small. It needs to be like a two by two circle. There we go. It's a little, little tall. There we go. That's like a regular table height now. But yeah, anyway, no, there's no... That would have been good to have that in there, but... Um, oh well. We could do... Let's do like glass tables or something. I don't know. Anyway, so that's where the seating will go. Um, and then... If we have... Uh, we need to figure out sort of what space we have here. So, maybe if this area here is... No... Maybe we have the pool behind this. Could be interesting. Could be like this. Uh, doesn't need to be, the pool doesn't need to be too big. Pools can be deceptive, deceptively small when you actually look at them. So if we just have enough room to do maybe like a little lap or something. Uh, no, let's go. Can I? I just want to cancel the last bit. I want to go back one, but I don't think you can. Backspace doesn't do it. Escaping just gets rid of the whole thing, which is annoying. All right, doing it again. So yeah, I like this bit. I like going like that. Maybe we give it a little bit of a... A little bit of a shape, anyway. Something like that. 
like that, and then I'll come back in. So maybe that's our pool there. And then we'll probably just adjust these sofas or something so they fit in this area. So basically, actually, you know what? Hang on, let me move those out of the way. Let's get in maybe a half wall there would be good. There's a little sort of backing to it. Just so in case for some reason they push the surface, they don't fall into the uh, the water. Because that would not be good. All right, that's going to go there. That's going to go there, roughly anyway. And that's going to go there. And we'll obviously adjust these a little bit. So they join together. That needs to... Oh, actually, that's probably... Oh, no, that, needs, that definitely needs to be forward. Or maybe... Well, it needs to be... It needs to line up with that sort of armrest. Because I would like them to sort of join together. Kind of, if you know what I mean. Um, so if we put that there. Um, if I move really far forward though, surely that can sort of budge further back and I think it can. So if we bring this one to there, that needs to go back to about there. Then that can go. We might, we might turn one of these into a two-seater because don't, we don't need as many seats anyway. And that can go there. Interesting. I don't know. Anyway, that's roughly how that will go. Then if we have the pool there, then we have this sort of grass area here. That should be quite good. Uh, and then we can have the kitchen over this side. Maybe the kitchen will be here on the diagonal, so it'll be directly opposite. Uh, that might be a good idea. So if this is the kitchen... Oh, diagonal kitchen is going to be... That's going to be annoying to furnish, but hey, that's uh, that's my problem later on, so we'll figure that out. So the kitchen, let's not... Let's not oversize the rooms here, because I did that <laughs> I did that in part one. So we need to be careful with room size here. So if that's the kitchen, that should be plenty big. Uh, let's actually, let's have a look. Before we go any further, let's have a look, make sure it's actually big enough. Um, yeah, so we could have a kitchen over this side. So maybe sort of an L-shaped kitchen there, island, and then have like a big table over there. That'll be fine. Plenty of room for that. Right, so then we have all this extra space uh, over this way. Uh, they have plenty of grass area too, which is nice. Then we have all this extra space here. Basically, all that back there can be used as uh, the captain's quarters or head of household or whatever you guys call it. Uh, the area back there. But we need to, we definitely need to get an outdoor courtyard. And also we need to, you know, make the shape a little bit less weird. Uh, we can probably, some of that can probably be used as camera, camera room. Maybe, maybe all of that there actually can be used. Okay, so if we have this space here, so they basically need, well, they need to go through a hallway because they usually have like a little separate kind of, they walk through a door and then all of a sudden they're in. Um, maybe, actually, they can, maybe they can enter it through the main household door. So then they can enter captain's quarters from this way. Uh, it will come out like that maybe. So it will actually go that way. So then they go through that door, they go through that door and that will come in here. Uh, and then we can use a lot of this space. And then what we can do, actually, if we put a wall there, join that up, this will be our outdoor area. Yeah, that'll actually work. So that'll be, this will be outdoors, this area here. Uh, so what I need to do is figure out where that is up above and get a little courtyard area here. Because, again, we need to, I need to be careful not to oversize things. And I think that this should actually be a pretty good size. Uh, so it's a nice outdoor area. They usually have a pool as well. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit a pool in here. Oops. But uh, we'll see how we go. So we get rid of that. Uh, then we wanna change it up into the smallest half wall. Oh, there we go. Boop, no, it's not the smallest, second smallest. There we go, so that's gonna go around. So then they have their little courtyard there, which is actually quite a good spot for it too. I like that. I like that they're next to each other. Then this one's actually just gonna, I need to adjust this a little bit here. Um, this is actually all one room. So if I can continue this floor, we'll pull that out. Let me just do that. And then remove that wall. There we go. Then I can actually just drag this flooring straight through there, which will be handy and convenient. Delete that. Okay, so this should all be one big room, and then we just got to cut off this weird little bit here, like that. There we go. Nope. Where is that? What? I can't. <laughs> Hang on, let. Let me. Uh. Oh. Hang on. What's going on here? 
That is, oh, that's the room below, I think. That's a, oh, okay. Can I stop pressing L instead of K? There we go. That's the room below. Okay. What is that? Oh, that's there. Okay, now all my half walls have disappeared. <laughs> yeah, working with an interior courtyard I knew was never going to be particularly, you know, easy. But it works for the most part, so that's fine. And... There. Okay, so, now what have we got? Uh, that's all one big room as the roof, which works quite well. We got where the pool is going to go. That's going to be our sanctuary courtyard. Then, because we used to have that um, special challenge room back here, we can easily move that over here. That will go here behind the, the living room, so that's fine. That's going to be the kitchen area there. So we're going to get some nice windows for that. Uh, the door will just go in the middle somewhere there. Double door, will that look good? Might have to use spa day for doors, which I'm totally okay with, because those doors are... Beautiful. Uh, let's go medium height doors. We can get like, oh, look at that. That is actually a really nice door. I like that. I do like that. Spa day. That's cool. We'll probably change most of these doors and windows and all that as we go. Anyway, so that's the kitchen. Uh, then our captain's quarters thing in here. Uh, so that's going to, yeah, that's the hallway. That's the door there. So I guess we need to. Uh, guess that will go there. So if this is going to be the entire space in here, uh, we need, so basically what we need, we need bedroom, like a little dining sort of living room area. Uh, and it's basically just a little studio apartment kind of thing. And then that will go through to the courtyard, uh, just here. What kind of windows do they have with spa day? Cause spa day has some good stuff. Like these windows are really nice. Uh, maybe we'll get those. Or maybe just, no, maybe just a gla big glass windows would be good. And then you just have a nice, we'll have, I, I do, I really, I like this door. I don't know if I want the windows that match it, but I think that door looks really nice uh, with all that. Okay, so if that comes out here, then what we're going to need is, uh, do we want it? We could, I mean, they normally have a pool, or at least in Australia, in the Australian, again, basing up the Australian version. In the Australian version, they have a pool, usually. Uh, like, we could even do one there. We could do that. Uh, then we're also going to need a hot tub though, and I don't know if we have room. We might have to, we might, we might just have to forget the pool idea. But also, yeah, the hot tub is massive, is a problem. I wish there was a small hot tub that we could use. Um, because normally it's a little bit smaller than that. I mean, they normally have a hot tub out here too, somewhere. Maybe we can put the, probably put the hot tub in this corner here somewhere. Um, might get yours in there. That works. I mean, you don't need that much outdoor space here anyway. And usually it is a courtyard. They don't normally have any grass, I don't think. It's usually just a whole, like a courtyard area. Which I wish was actually a room. The one time I want it to be a room. Oh, it is a room. Build floor. Hey, there we go. Right, uh, so if we just get rid of the grid so I can see what I'm doing. Probably just get some stone like that or something. Yeah, that's good. That's quite a nice little area. Nice little wooden hot tub. I would like to get actually the perfect patio uh, decorations. Wall decoration? No, it's not a wall decoration, it's just a plan, isn't it? Uh, the... these. These would be good. Oh no, I wish they were a bit shorter. I wish it, there was one that went straight under... If they went right under the windows there, the windows, the mirrors, that'd be ideal. If we can get that... We can definitely get some... We can get some plants in there for sure. Uh, I don't want to delete the whole floor. Why don't we just... We'll just use the grass flooring there. So that'll be little plants there, probably. Maybe all the way around, because you don't need to walk around the back of the pool anyway. So if we do like nice little plant life all around there, then we can get a little uh, pool ladder in the middle. Let's go to night time because we can get like... Oh, we get like a turtle. Oh, the turtle will be perfect. Well, seeing as we're using spa day stuff now, let's use um, some of the spa day pool related lights. Get some of these. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, what can we do on the bottom? They didn't really do anything. Oh, I guess you just do like little borders and that, can't you? Which I guess would be a good idea. Oh, no, no, I don't want that. Okay, there's a lot of colors to these two, but I think we'll just keep them white. We'll do like a little border, and then we'll do a, uh, like a little turtle in the middle, <laughs> just to finish it off. Uh, did I go too far in that? No, I didn't. That's fine. That'll go there. That'll go there, and then we can go boop. Boop. All right, so we have a nice little border there, and then we'll get a turtle. Maybe we can have like a little turtle going there. And like a little baby, little baby turtles behind it. 
go like that. And that. Ah, oh, that's nice. Uh, those lights seem like in a, just kind of a weird place. But anyway, let's just go with that. Let's just roll with that. Uh, <laughs> let's get out the... Uh, does this fit in? No, that's too tall. That one actually fits in quite well. It fits in that slot pretty well, actually. I might just chuck that in just for the sake of ease. Uh, and me not having to fiddle with a lot of plants to get that to fit. Actually, on the on the back wall... No, we'll do that one as well. But on the back wall, we could actually use those perfect patio uh, plants. That would work. Um, like that. There you go. Yeah, I guess that goes there. And then I could... What, what would it look like if I do this? Could even get like a... Oh, could I do them all separately? So this... Uh, I don't know if... Do I want to do this? Do I want them going all the way up the wall like this? We could do... Um, oh, you know what we could do? Let's get one over there. So this idea, by the way, putting moving them up like that, I actually borrowed, they borrowed this idea from Curtis Parody. He did a, a modern living room build just the other day, actually, and I thought that was a pretty cool idea. He made like a sort of a, a plant wall with all these over the wall. It looked really cool, actually. So I was like, hmm, I like that idea. We could, do a, we could do a high up mirror. If only it went in the middle. I guess we can cover up a bit of it. It doesn't have to all be. Product gameplay is locked. Oh, that's right. I've got to do the unlock cheat. There we go. Um, so that will go there. We could have a... <laughs> Little mirror up there. So the camera has to go up a little bit higher there, but they can see. Oh, we also have plants coming through the wall. But you know what? I'm not too bothered about the plants going through the wall. It's, it's kind of what about what, what this area looks like. No, yeah, the plan B there was actually to put a TV in. Not quite this big. Oh, actually, no, that's scaled up, so that's fine. Um, this was plan B. Like, we could put... Oh, my God. It actually goes in front of the plant. So what we could do... <laughs> we could even get... Um, I don't want to... Oh, where is it? Yeah. I don't want to go all the way behind the TV, but we could do like, um... Hang on, where is it? That's confusing. Go down a little bit. There. Uh, yeah, we could go just next to the TV like that. That could be kind of cool. Right. That. So you can sit here in the tub and watch the TV. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Let's just go with that for now. This, like, this isn't... Final, but I don't know. I thought that was kind of a cool idea. Uh, let's get it. We, I, I feel like we need some flowers, you know, get a bit of color in here. It's a bit, it's a bit bland at the moment. Let's get some nice uh, little flowers, all different colors. Isn't that nice? Oh, isn't that, isn't that nice? Look at that. Ooh, yeah, that's good. Which ones have colors? Some of these have recolors. Is it this one? No. I wish, I wish all plants just had different colored flowers. You can easily just mix it up, you know. Like this one's good because you can change the flowers like multiple times on it. Get one of those in there. There you go. Yeah, that's quite nice. A little pool right in the middle. Um, with Get Together, actually, we could use the... Uh, they have the, the, the natural pools, which is basically just a way of recoloring pool water. So it has like a little button here. You change what the water looks like. So you can get like sort of more... Kind of... You can get like swamp water. You can get uh, kind of, you know, like a natural spring colored water. There's actually a water as well that's co covered with like sort of uh, flowers. Like there's little like flower petals all floating in the water. That's a cool one. So... Uh, maybe we'll do that when Get Together comes out. All right, so anyway, the whole point of that was <laughs> to that area. Okay, we need, uh, let's get the bathroom in, uh, which I think will go... Oh, that door is in an annoying place. I might actually move where the door is. Uh, if we go... I'm going to move the door down the hallway a little bit, just so it's there, because I would like to use this area here as the bathroom. Now, it's not going to be a separate room, I don't think... Do I want it as a hallway like that? I guess, no, maybe we'll just turn that whole thing into a hallway there. So this whole thing is the entrance to the this, uh, the sanctuary. Yeah, we'll just, we'll just elongate the hallway there just so... It just works better this way, I think. So we put that there. Get rid of that. Because um, then we can, yeah, then we can use this space as the bathroom. Actually, we might even... We don't need that whole weird diagonal spot there. Uh, we'll figure out what to do with that in a minute. Uh, also, this doesn't need to be... I don't know why this is separated off. It doesn't need to be. This is all, like, this is all sort of weird behind-the-scenes rooms there, so that's fine. All right, so then, yeah, then the, the bathroom can go in here. Usually, they actually have, like, because it, because it is, like, a private area, they usually have, like, um big set of glass windows that just look into it, um, and it's kind of just part of the room, which is kind of cool, I think. Uh, so why don't we get out... Uh, we want a door arch. There's no, like... Yeah, maybe we want... Oh, I've got the hiccups now for some reason. 
<laughs> Don't mind me. Uh, I might actually use smaller windows for this. Uh, we might use these. Uh, I'll move them along because I don't want the door next to those doors. Uh, we'll have, it will be a glass door. Um, where is the, um, Sparta doors? Are they, I thought they had like a medium height door, like a single door. I mean, obviously not. For some reason I thought they did. Hmm. They have these doors. That's kind of annoying because it doesn't match the window height. If the door went all the way up, I would be happy with that. We can get a super short door. <laughs> uh, okay, what we'll do, we'll just make that, whoop, we'll just make that one room. So it'll just be open um, and it'll free flowing and, and natural. So now this area is going to be this floor and then the bathroom can be, uh, we could even use a sort of outdoorsy one. It's kind of fancy. No, I don't, I don't think we'll do that. Why don't we use some marble? Um, it's some nice shiny white marble tiles. There you go, that, that, that'll be fancy in there. Uh, so that'll be the bathroom area. This is going to be the bedroom and the sort of little living space. The bed will probably go over here somewhere. We'll have to figure out where to put the TV. We'll probably, um, if we get rid of that, we can put the TV in the middle. So this is where they can watch movies or whatever. Uh, so if we do that there, let's just get a general idea of how all of this is going to fit in. So say they get the super comfy bed there, then they can have... Because they usually, yeah, it's like they, they become the, I guess, head of the household or whatever. Then they get to invite one person in with them, don't they? So then we get a super comfy couch, which will go in front of the TV. Yeah, somewhere around there. I don't know. And then there'll be like a little table here where they can have special meals or whatever. And then the bathroom in there. That'll work. We'll obviously make it look not crap uh, when we furnish it properly. But okay, so that is the little sanctuary place over there. Uh, separate from the house, which they get to by going through like the main doors and down the hallway. Uh, the kitchen is here, uh, which is good. We will, let's see if we can actually fit in a proper counter, um, on a diagonal. Let's just go white for the sake of simplicity, I guess. Is this gonna, oops, that's not placed right, I don't think. Is this gonna fit in properly? It's not not fitting in. Now, the one thing here that annoys me, uh, let me get auto counters actually, is, well, okay, well, there's a multiple things that annoy me right here. Uh, and it's the fact that that's not joining. Okay, can you... I mean, I guess that's fine. Hang on, let me get it in a place that I like. Uh, now, the problem is... Because these technically, because they're not against, well, those ones are technically, they like look like they're against the wall, but they're not. Because when they're against the wall, you get like that little back plate thing that sort of goes up against the wall like that. So it raises up. Um, these ones technically aren't. So that's why I sort of moved this one forward. Also, that didn't make a proper corner. But that's okay. As long as we can make it look like, uh, you know, look like it's against the wall. Now, the, I, I realize we have weird shadows there right now, but I'm hoping that when we get like proper lighting in, it should be okay. I'm hoping, anyway. Let's see, let's go. Okay, night time. Now, is it also because... It... No, it's not because of that room. Uh, if we're gonna have weird shadows on there, that's gonna be... Annoying. What if we just flood it with like loads of light? Will that fix it? Like if we get... Uh, this is pretty bright, that one. No, it doesn't... Definitely got... Okay, it's definitely got weird shadows there. The, the, the way the counters are now, like their position, I like that. Because then we can get an easy island counter in there and lots of, like, a nice big table over there. So it's a good it's good positioning right now, but it doesn't really work. Um, mainly because the shadows are really... weird there. What is the deal with the shadows there? It's just... They kind of just exist along the wall for some reason. Like, all the way along the wall. The lighting is not great. Um, we can put it, I don't know, the other way to do it would be to make it a black counter, then you can't tell. <laughs> I don't know, but it, it's possible to have to fit a good kitchen in there, so I'm okay with that. Uh, let's get some more lights in there, just light up the place a little bit. Might just get some lights around the house. Uh, these are obviously by no means permanent lighting, I just want to make sure we've got lights everywhere. Uh, living room, there, 
They have the diary room. Oh, we don't have... Uh, that's the other thing I need to do, a nominations room. Uh, I'm aware in some versions of Big Brother, they'd nominate in the diary room. And I think the last version of Australian Big Brother, they'd nominate in the diary room as well. Um, but in, in previous versions, they have had like nominations rooms and that. So we, if we have room for that, we'll do that. But we need to get like the sort of activity slash challenges room in now. Uh, that will probably be the last thing we do this episode, which will go at the back of the living room here. Um, so this will, we'll need like a little hallway somewhere. We might do it. Can even just do a little door off of there, I think. Cause that's a good spot. And then we can just have a hallway. Oh, well actually that's where the cameras are. Let's not do that. We can do it here though. No, that'll be kind of, that'll be too difficult. All right, let's just put it, uh, I'll have the door over here. So we'll just come back through there and then we'll have the room. Like this. So this is just something where they have different challenges every every week or something. So it doesn't need to be particularly big, but that I think that'll be fine as the room. Um Yeah, we'll have we'll have two doors there. Uh what doors have I been using? Really big doors, which I do not have. Uh, what other doors have I been using? I've been using these doors. Okay, let's use this. So this will go not there, what am I doing? Go there, and then we'll have another second door there. Uh, and that will be, yeah, the weekly sort of challenge room. Sometimes they, they've done like a, have to do like a radio broadcast or at Christmas times, they, they do like packing presents or whatever. Uh, just, you know, general purpose room for changing things up. Okay, so that goes in there. Uh, what else do we need? Possibly a nominations room. I don't think we really have space for it though, and it's not really necessary. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, we have lots of outdoor space, which I'm really happy with. Um... Got a nice little TV area there, nice pool area, got the gym, the kitchen, two bedrooms, bathrooms, changing room, all that kind of stuff. All that kind of stuff. Big living room. I don't know, I think that's, is that everything we need? Let me just have a quick run through the comments. Um, see if there's anything I missed. Someone wants to do like a build, but instead of Big Brother do like a uh, survivor. Should be interesting, I don't know how you do that. You'd kind of, I, I think you could do a survivor build if you did if you did it in Sims 3, but you created a world, like a, a new world for it, you say so you use create a world, you made like an island, like it could just be a small island, but it had a, has a few lots on it that have the different things around the island. That could be pretty fun. If someone actually does like a survivor Sims 3 build, like a whole world build for it, that'd be awesome. Um, uh, I know you don't watch Big Brother in the States, but for nominations, I put votes in the dark. Yeah, no, uh, I saw that comment. And again, like I've said many times before, this is based on the Australian Big Brother. I'm not going to change up things that are not like, I'm not going to cater this toward a Big Brother house from the US because I don't know what that looks like. Uh, I don't know what the UK one looks like either. This is entirely based off the Australian version. Um, blah, blah, blah. Just comments about doing Let's Plays on it again. <laughs> uh, let's see. Weird spaces. I don't think there's anything in terms of uh, having to do any additional rooms with the beds. Uh, yeah. No, I think that's about it. But anyway, yeah, of course, leave more suggestions and feedback down below. Um, if there's anything I missed or anything I need to do, uh, do let me know. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time and have an awesome day. <laughs>